Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 4, episode 10 for this series. And the last time we left off, uh, we had gone through and destroyed the, uh, the illusionist uh, army there. And uh, we were pretty much just kind of going around uh, fighting a lot of these guys, uh, trying to keep all of this under wraps. Uh, I think we actually wanted to attack. Holy crap. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, we definitely don't want to attack that. Uh, yeah, we want to try to win back a lot of this stuff that we've lost. Um, we actually took out that player last time by killing him, so... Or that, by killing that AI, we took out that, those people. Alright, so we got our ambush going on here. We'll let that play out. Fantastic. What a win there. Okay, so... Oh, uh, there's been a couple updates and stuff. That's what I think that thing coming up. I don't think I've seen that ambush thing before. <clears throat> I can't remember now. Maybe that was always there. Um, one thing I wanted to go over quick, because some of you guys pointed it out to me, uh, or pointed out to my attention, was uh, this other uh, plane that we actually unlocked up here, which is the elemental plane. So if we actually click on that, it doesn't bring you anywhere. I had noticed that that was unlocked earlier. I, I don't know why I didn't mention it in a previous episode. I completely forgot um, but I did already click on that and come here and notice that there was nothing. And so maybe that's why I didn't bring it up is because it wasn't anything significant. I mean, it is significant. I just, I guess I forgot to say something. But uh, yeah, we actually got that for taking the cloud castle, I guess. So taking the cloud castle actually gave us the elemental plane. And that's what that symbol right there stands for. I believe that the cloud castle is a gateway to the elemental plane. Um, there are three bla uh, brass claw horrors here. Uh, we could probably actually take those on, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. My biggest goal right now is recapturing a lot of the things uh, that we have lost um, with our armies and uh, potentially building our armies up some more. So now we shouldn't have to worry too much about this place being attacked anymore. Um, I'm probably going to send this guy up this way and keep recruiting units because I do have a lot of gold. So just keep recruiting units uh, at this place here for now and then I'll send this army up this way to recapture those and then I'll build a captain or a cultist there and uh, just keep sending armies out from there but my main goal now is to destroy the enemy AIs because that's how you win the game and I think this army here is uh, powerful enough to do that I would like to do a little bit more summoning as well but uh, I think we could take these guys on actually and, and Phillips uh, Philippus Philip Phillips, I wouldn't be Phillips. Philippus or Philip Philippus. We'll say Philip uh, Philippus. So Philippus, the Onyx Priestess. Uh, I, I believe that's their unique character. So we could actually probably take this army right now and destroy, uh, destroy them. Uh, but instead, I'm actually gonna try to summon some more demons. I believe. Let's go for. Um, I don't want another infernal horde. I, I can't afford a demon lieutenant. Let's do some greater demons. There we go. Grab ourselves a few hellhounds. Why not? Let's do another one. Another disease devil. Okay, I'll take it. Um, overall, we're pretty powerful. Um, I'm sure I could take her, but let's go back down and capture, uh, recapture the cloud castle first. We'll start with the cloud castle. I don't want to completely go through just because I can... I mean, I could potentially end the game now, I guess, but I, I just want to explore just a little bit more before I do that. Uh, we still technically have another player running around somewhere that we need to find. Okay, see, so he, he actually, this uh, AI unit, this neutral unit, I guess, uh, whatever you want to call him, he actually moved off that cl cloud castle, which kind of gives me the impression that maybe he knew he wasn't going to uh, win, which is pretty smart on his part. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a ability over here that says enter gateway so go through the gateway this can also be done by clicking on the destination square on the map so we can actually enter the gateway to what I assume is the elemental plane now the only problem I have with doing that is if I enter the gateway is there a gate on the other side for me to be able to come back and I don't know if that is actually the case or not I might enter the gateway and uh, be uh, trapped forever we uh, don't really know and so I might try to take uh, one of my devils or something, or one of my un more unique units through the gateway. That's a possibility. 
Uh, I guess one of these banshees. Oh, right here, actually, we got a captain. Um, I we could try to send him through the gateway just to see what happens. See if there's a if there's a way for him to come back. Uh, I would like to explore some of these planes, but I don't want to do it if there's no way for my army to get back. I'm not trying to throw the game away. Um, and so that's that's something that we gotta think about. Uh, let's get some more. Let's go with some spearmen. Just keep building up the citadel. Uh, make sure it's nice and protected, just in case the enemy does move up that way. Try to take our sim uh, citadel from us. So there's a drought going on right now in the world news. Okay, let's uh, let's grab this guy real quick and let's try to enter the gateway with him. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, so it looks like there is a gate here. Cloud Forest, interesting. And so it looks like he does have the ability to go back through the gate. Uh, but we just ran into some elementals here. Holy crap. Champion of Storms. So the Champion of Storms is being native to the elemental plane of air. It manifests as an armored knight mounted on a flying steed. He can conjure winds and lightning and summon elementals, which is what these guys are. Cloud elementals, uh, air elementals. Very cool. Very cool, actually. That's awesome. What else do we got here? So, sylphs? Some sylphs, okay. That seems to pretty much be it. Let's go back to this plane here. So, I don't want to send our entire uh, guy through just yet. Because I'm not sure if there's anything over there I really want. Um, we'll take this hamlet since these farms aren't producing anything right now because of the drought. Oh, whoa, an ambush right there, okay. Fair enough. And get some more archers. I've got lots of gold, so I might as well use it. So we're being ambushed here in the plains. I'm just going to skip this ambush because I know I'm going to win it. Okay, that army's coming down. I'm assuming he probably wants to retake this. Uh, excuse me, I've got the sniffles. I've been sick all week. Um, I'm feeling a lot better today, actually, than I was earlier in the week. But let's see. Hmm, I'm going to stay there. I want to get more sacrifices. That's what I really want to do. Let's definitely take this uh, this gold stream. Oh no! Some ether warriors still floating around. I was supposed to take them out with this army. This army would definitely lose to those ether warriors in the event that they do get assaulted. All right, well, we'll just hold off on that. Crap, somebody really just came right behind me and took that from me, huh? All right, let's just take this and go back, I guess. Okay, he's going to move away, and that's kind of annoying, so I guess I'm going to have to chase him down and kill him. That's going to be the only way that I can secure uh, anything I have. Okay, he can't move anymore. All right, he's moving around us. That's good. I'd like to keep it that way, so let's just completely move away from him. Oh, I can't? Did, why can't I move? What happened? Why can't I move any of these guys? All right. Oh, did we really lose Stonehenge down there? <sighs> so frustrating. I feel like it's a constant game of tag. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these guys are almost impossible to kill. I should have went up and killed them earlier. I'm pretty sure I lost an army earlier to them, actually. Um, yeah, I definitely should have sent a, an army to go kill these guys. My big army. But I guess uh, we'll see how we hold out. Speed it up just a little bit. I mean, our archers are definitely laying down some good firepower, but most of the time they're just missing. If he could summon some imps, maybe that would help. Um, at least if we kill one of them, it'll make a difference. Oh, there we go. That was a nice, that was a nice hit there. Um, if I could get some hits landed, we could definitely maybe survive this, but it's just too hard to say right now. Still very evenly matched. We got one of them. If we get this guy down, this army might be enough to take out two of them. Alright, there we go. So just two of them left. All I need is these archers to land some hits. Oh man, come on, cultists. Stay alive. The captain will put up a good fight, I believe. Oh, there we go. There we go. Somebody got a good, uh, good hit there. It looks like this army is actually going to live to see another day. Wow, there we go. And the captain actually there uh, pulling the team on his back. Very good. Um, that army definitely needs to be rebuilt, but I'm I'm uh, most certainly proud with how they uh, responded during that battle. So let's start sending that army back up this way to the Citadel, I think. We'll let them heal up up there. And uh, 
grab some more troops from the Citadel. I'll keep recruiting. So actually, oh, we've got another captain there too. We'll wait for a, cult, uh, a cultist actually. Because that's what I want to get. As for that, we're going to grab up some bouts here. I think we're going to move on to these guys. Uh, crush their army and potentially knock that AI out of the game. That is a huge possibility, actually. Um, as for this unit, we're going to send him off this way. There we go. So let's take a look and see how we do here. I think we definitely got this guy over... <laughs> there we go. So already, right off the bat, capturing ourselves a crystal princess. Right? Was that what it was? Crystal princess? Priestess. I'm sorry. Crystal priestess. And, uh, and Philippus. I'm going to say Philippus. Philippus the Onyx Priestess. Um, I'm not sure if that's the unique unit or not that they have. Because there's another priestess here too. These might actually... Neither of these might be their unique unit. Well, either way... We captured two of them, so that's two uh, less priestess we got to worry about. Especially since my my biggest thing with the priestess and priests and everything is that they generally, uh, they sometimes can banish uh, demons. So, you know, weakness against demons would be uh, priests. Um, and obviously their own army killed them, as, as I expected. But still very good. There we go. All right, just lots of lots of buffs being cast right now by my army. There we go, a couple attacks going on, and now we've got everybody moving in. These hellhounds really lay it down. I think that one time I summoned, I got what, like seven of them? Was it? It was a lot of hellhounds. Um, and then I just got three more. Got some imps coming in. We're going to speed this up just a little bit more. Oh, what was that? Wait, what was that? All these people got affected. Including my own army, though, it looks like. I don't see it anywhere. Okay, it must be farther down. Is there an easier way to scroll through this? Because this is definitely not... Oh, I can move the battlefield. I didn't know that. Okay. Disease demon is a... Just a lot of people got affected, it looks like. Oh, boy. What was that? It was this guy that casted it, right? Was it the Horn of Valor? That doesn't even have anything. He's invisible. Weakened. Wait, he's weakened. Why is he weakened? Strength and damage decreased by two. Is that... Okay, let's see what the buff is on all these guys. Because they... Shock resistant. Fire resistant. All these guys got resistance. Ah, the weakened. See? All, all of these guys were weakened. They are, they are too. So whatever that special ability was, it it affected them, but it also affected us. So we're all were weakened. But I don't know who cast it. I was pretty sure he did. Strength, harm, bullets, pain, shadow form, special effect, etherealness, tendrils of darkness, summon shades. I don't know. Not sure. All right. Well, we'll continue. I just wasn't sure what that was, but it was just a big uh, area of effect that it, it cast it over and, and affected a lot of people, including my own. So I just wanted to know what it was, but no big, no matter. Uh, it doesn't appear to have affected. No, it did affect the hellhounds too. In fact, my hellhounds are taking a beating right now from these, these, this horse cow. Oh my goodness. Another gift of death story. Sparks another massive uh, casting. I'm pretty sure that was this guy's blizzard. Entire battlefield. Yeah, that must have been his blizzard. Our whole army, I think, took damage from that. Somebody was mentioning that in the comments. Um, some of these guys' area of effects can really hurt our uh, hurt us as well, and that is true. But um, there's, I mean, there's only so much I could do about it too. So. 
I'm not too worried about it. I mean, I, as playing demons, they are pretty powerful, so I can imagine. Um, I can imagine that they have to have some negative modifiers, and I think them being able to accidentally kill their own units is probably a pretty good balance. There we go, some plus one there going on, whatever that was. A lot of my Hellhounds are actually dropping. They're finally uh, taking a really good beating, actually, from this. Which is not good, because really, after the Hellhounds die, there's nothing else back here that's that powerful. I've just got a bunch of Swordsmen, Archers, um, and then even these Bloodsworn, who are not that great. So, if I lose a lot of Hellhounds, I'm going to be in trouble. Kind of sitting back and enjoying the battle right now. All right, there we go. Archer Calvary is taken care of. Except for that one at the top. I'm not that worried about him. And I haven't seen any other large armies walking around, so I'm not sure if uh, this is the only big army they've got, or it looks like that guy's running. Nope, he's... <laughs> he was bound and determined to fight. Maybe he just figured he needed to fight. You know, last stand. Uh, there we go. So we won. I kind of figured we would. Um, I didn't see anything else pop up, though, so I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure really what came of that. Some ghouls over there. Alright. Uh, this army... I was bringing back. In this army, we're moving forward still. And then our captain here, we're just doing a little bit of scouting in the uh, in this plane here. We're just going to use him as a scout, I guess. Uh, just get a real good feel for what's going on over there. That'd be the scary part too. If I moved my army into there and then somebody captured that, I'd be done for. I'd have to go down there and recapture it back. And what if I couldn't? Like, see that? It just got captured. So can this guy come back through? Oh, he could actually. It's just he's not going to fight whoever's there, which I guess is nobody. Or probably an ambush, so I'll probably lose him now. Uh, but I was just, I wanted to see. I mean, that's what this is all about sometimes. You got to do some experimenting. God, I lost all those, like, just because I'm sending this army back. That's the thing is, like, once you get something, you've got to hold it. You've got to have an army nearby that can hold it. Okay, we've got this ambush. I'm just going to skip. We've got this ambush at Cloud Castle. I'm actually going to let this play out. I'm kind of curious. No, he's he's totally dead. All right. That's fine. Let's recapture all those. We're sending this army over this way. I'd like to get another cultist. Um, but you know what? I'll... I'll actually recruit, ooh, an assassin. No, I'm going to get the captain. Um, not enough iron, so we'll just get some spearmen. Because I'm going to get another army set up to come out. So let's uh, let's actually do that now. Actually, that's too many. Let's just go like this. And then I'll set the other army. Ooh. There we go. I'll set the other army up. Uh, to receive some of these guys. Where is Swordsman? There we go. So I put a lot of units there, so there's not as many back here, but I'm going to keep recruiting there. By the time these guys get up there, I'll let them heal for a bit. And then I will... Uh, I will uh, put some guys into that force and send them back out. But I want to get another small army moving around to try to recapture some of these uh, some of these things I've lost so I can get the sacrifices back up there, do some more summoning. I need to summon some more demons. Oh no, oh no, I was clicked on the wrong I was clicked on the wrong guy. I guess that's fine. Just didn't want to move there. There we go. This guy's coming across, so we'll have him help over here. Then as for this guy, let's do some scouting up north. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And then we can always come back down and kind of hold these. Try to keep everybody in a general area. 
and only send them back when they need to be rebuilt. We're going to retake Cloud Castle and go... Oh, I guess we're not going to go over there. Because I don't have enough action points. But we'll head over here and start recapturing some of this. Ah, I keep forgetting I got to recruit. I need to recruit every turn on here because I'm getting more gold at this point than I can recruit. At least at the time being. Spring is here. Um, we'll capture this hamlet. Or not, I guess. Really. I don't understand why that keeps happening. Um, use special ability. Let's get a demon lieutenant, right? Let's do another demon lieutenant, I think. Or, actually, let's save up for the Ritual of Grand Mastery. Let's try that because uh, we only got two more AIs in this game. And I'm definitely kicking ass compared to the other ones. Right? Oh, I'm green. I'm not kicking ass. Blue is way better than me. Uh, and green summer's out there. Oh, that's in military, though. Well, blue's actually definitely leading the game. Me and yellow. So who's yellow? I don't remember. Have I run into yellow? No, I haven't yet. Priest King. And then the Barbarian. So we haven't run into the Priest King yet. He might be really difficult, actually. He's pretty much the complete opposite of us. There might be another ancient forest down here, and that's why I'm getting some animals from down there. There we go. How are we going to hold up against these ants? They're pretty powerful. I'll give them that. Looks like we're going to win easily, though. And there we go. Awesome. And we got this uh, ambush. I'm just going to skip this. All right. Just kind of recapture some of these. I'm getting real sick of kind of running around over there, but I understand that's just kind of how it goes. As for him... Why don't we send him down south this way? We gotta find the Priest King. We have yet to bump into him. So let's send him off for some serious scouting. Uh, then we've got, you know, our Citadel, uh, which we'll just keep building units at. We've got this unit here, which we'll just use to protect this area. And this unit up here, which we'll use to kind of hold this area up here. Uh, yeah, and I think that'll be the plan. And then we'll just keep our Sabouts the Demon L just down here moving around. But uh, we are out of time for this episode. So I do hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.